Students get bored, and it's not because they're not smart, it's because they're not engaged. One of my favorite and most magical moments is when I saw the kids start to really get invested and they started having fun and improvising and they were excited about creating something. We worked with the fifth grade class of Rose Park Elementary, combining math with music, art, and dance to show how math is involved in everyday life and how it can be fun if you let it. So we put on a show about how math is cool and we made a huge performance. I think like the most magical moment was when you'd watch the kids walk away practicing in their heads. When we leave, they go have recess and you'd see them on the, on the playground like practicing the dance steps. They really made the project their own. I know it left a lasting impression. We just have to find ways to keep students engaged and you can use art as a perfect medium to help children learn about any subject. The experience that they had doing this was invaluable. You couldn't get that much information and that much knowledge any other way. projects total spanning a wide variety of content areas and also many different arts disciplines. We had two photography projects, a graphic novel, we had a dance drama at Rose Park, a dance drama at Mountain View, and theater production at Beacon Heights. Our project was a dance photo collaborative effort. Basically what we did is we wanted to go into the dance room and teach the students how each element of the camera works, whether it's ISO, shutter speed, or aperture. The more that we got into the project and talked about it, we felt that um, a light painting project would be perfect for them. That's what art teaches you, is how are you going to express this idea and this emotion through an image. Uh, Lara, Ayers, and I went into Emerson Elementary fourth grade classrooms and we designed a graphic novel with them that addressed science content. We integrated the fourth grade science core and then we studied graphic novels and how they were produced and looked at different examples of graphic novels. The kids picked out which type they preferred and they drew all the frames. They wrote the story from beginning to end. Our main character is a rock that was supposedly broken off of the collapsed arch. So it was a sedimentary red rock. It was a really fun way to integrate the two. I mean, I don't think there's one kid in that class that doesn't want to go to visit the Spiral Jetty or go visit Great Salt Lake or Arches. It really hit home with them. You know, it was a subject that they were already familiar with, but they learned how to creatively think about it. Not all of them, obviously, are going to become performers or artists, but I think they all have the ability to do so. It really instilled a lot of respect for one another, as well as a lot of understanding. Build their self-confidence so they knew that, that they could do other things and kind of open their eyes to different ways of creative expression and different possibilities for their future. Being creative and listening to everybody else's suggestions, ArtsBridge was probably the best thing that happened this semester. I was kind of pleasantly surprised when I actually was teaching these kids about shutter speed, aperture, and ISO, how much that I had actually forgotten. Even though I seemed like I had mastered these things, I think that you know, it helped me grow as a photographer. And since I've been doing this project, it's really shown in my images. I think now with the digital age, it's a lot easier for people to understand photography, but there's the creative element that they don't sell in the standard box. That You, know, you can go to the store and you can buy a camera, but it doesn't come with that creativity. 
I think the most exciting thing for me as an educator, it just taught me that you have to be flexible and that things don't always go as you planned, but that there's always a lot of value. I feel like the kids learned a ton about graphic novels, about art, about science, about working together as an educator. I definitely see the value in what we've learned through um, ArtsBridge.